Museums are not always a light for culture and education. Some museums across the world are unusual, weird, interesting, and truly bizarre. Here are 10 such weirdest museums that will amaze you. Number 10. Sulab International Museum of Toilets, India This unique museum in New Delhi, India has been created to promote and improve sanitation, especially in third world countries. Through its myriad and rare collection of facts, pictures, and objects, the museum expounds the history and evolution of toilets throughout the world, starting from 2500 BC to date. The place represents rare information to researchers about the various design, raw materials, and technologies used in the past and those still in use. The museum has three main sections ancient, medieval, and modern, all of which give interesting highlights into the toilets of those particular eras. Number 9. Museum of Bad Art, United States Established in 1994, this peculiar museum situated near the toilets in an old basement in Dedham, Massachusetts, has been dedicated to celebrate bad art. From distorted flowers to gaudily colored portraits, the place has a tagline of, Art too bad to be ignored. With more than 600 pieces, the museum displays different genres of bad art, ranging from portraiture, landscapes, unseen forces, seascapes, still life, and obscure. Each piece on display at the museum is presented with a detailed narrative and has interesting stories behind it, which will leave you smiling. Number 8. The Dog Collar Museum, England Inspired by the love of dogs of Lady Bailey, the owner of the Leeds Castle, this museum in Leeds, England treats you to the most classy and ugly dog collars in the history of the world. The unique collection here features close to 100 collars that were accumulated by Irish medieval scholar John Hunt and his wife Gertrude. The selection has some truly peculiar collars, right from the medieval to Victorian times. The most interesting section here is the one housing antique iron collars covered with spikes from the 15th and 16th centuries, made by the hunters of that era for their faithful dogs. Number 7. Phallological Museum, Iceland This museum has more than 215 penises and penile parts of almost all the land and sea animals that can be found in Iceland. Hjörtur Gisli Sigurðsson, the museum's curator, is a second-generation phallogist and has dedicated his life to collecting all kinds of penises. Here you will find penises of the tiniest hamster, a walrus, and also a sperm whale, along with a host of other mammals. The museum has now also acquired legally certified gift tokens for four human penises. Number 6. Museum of Broken Relationships, Croatia Exhibiting heartbreak through global objects, this museum was created by artists Olinka Vistica and Drazen Grubisic as a way to be cured from their own broken relationships. The displays here include a box made of matches, an I love you teddy bear, an old cell phone, a glass horse, a wedding dress, a pair of handcuffs, a Mira Furlan bowl, and even an X axe. The museum attempts to give visitors an opportunity to experience emotions and memories symbolized in objects and relate to them. Number 5. Salt and Pepper Shaker Museum, United States Established by trained anthropologist Andrea Ludden and her husband Rolf, the museum has over 20,000 pairs of salt and pepper shakers, ranging from the 1500s to the current day. For more than 25 years, the owners have been collecting shakers and are now sharing their knowledge with the world. The variety of figurines here is truly impressive. Human feet, Mexican rancheros, Amish farmers, and even a $60 million Cellini salt cellar. The museum also offers various interesting facts about salt and pepper, including the rationale behind the number of holes per shaker. Number 4. The Bread Museum, Germany the museum is devoted to the 6,000-year history of bread and its emphasis on human culture. With more than 18,000 art exhibits, the place shows how the practice of bread making has changed through the ages. 
Interestingly, bread itself is not part of the collection, as the museum believes that bread is not a museum artifact, but a food. The museum gives a serious message of food shortage, and also helps fund research on nutritional deficits. Number 3. Cancun Underwater Museum, Cancun, Mexico Established in 2010, this is the world's largest underwater museum and has more than 450 life-size sculptures immersed in the water and open to the public as an exhibit. The figurines in the museum are based on real-life people and took more than 18 months to complete in its initial phase. Famous sculptor and artist Jason DeCares Taylor is behind this fascinating idea. Each of the sculptures here is made of pH-neutral clay to encourage marine growth. Number 2. Siraraj Medical Museum, or Museum of Death, Thailand This one is not for the faint-hearted, as it houses some very graphic and even disturbing displays of human remains. You will find hemorrhaged brains, a preserved fetus, little skeletons, severed and mutilated legs and arms, punctured skulls, and even cut-up lungs here. Also on display are the most morbid ways to pass on to the next life, presented as art. Despite its gruesome atmosphere, the museum is a big hit, and also serves as a valuable source for doctors and medical students. Number 1. Sex Museum, Amsterdam Attracting over 500,000 visitors each year, the museum contains a vivid collection of artifacts related to human sexuality. There are china figures, plates, photographs, and artworks, and a myriad of other items, including two huge plastic phalluses standing erect. One can also see life-size wax figures of Mata Hari along with her male partners, and Marilyn Monroe along with a plaster figure of Venus at the entry. Through hidden speakers inside different sections of the museum, visitors are welcome to different muffled noises, like the repetitive sounds of the steam machine, mixed with the woman's moans of pleasure. Please click the subscribe link below to get updates on new videos from us.